Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Whimsy. Thanks for joining us here at Broke Aristocrats for this ongoing series about how to lose weight responsibly without breaking the bank. This is a, an affordable weight loss program. It doesn't cost you any money and probably you'll be saving quite a bit of money if you follow this weight loss program. So if you're just tuning in, this is part two. If you'd like to first look at part one, you can do so. It's linked below and uh, that'll get you up to snuff. But basically what we're doing is bringing people through the process that I use here at my offices to lose weight uh, responsibly and effectively and hopefully with as little pain as possible. So to recap, uh, yesterday we talked to people about uh, some of the questions we ask our patients. Uh, let me go ahead and log in here so uh, we can get started. Uh, how we do an intake, uh, we weigh the patient, how we calculate a BMI. After we have uh, done a thorough intake, after we have done a physical exam where we've uh, checked thyroid function, taken blood pressure, weighed the patient, done some basic uh, uh, exam, we will usually send the patient out for some general lab work as well. All of that is done just to make sure that the patient is a good candidate for our weight loss program. So after we do that, we then uh, direct the patient to myfitnesspal.com where they now can go ahead and monitor what they're eating and hopefully they uh, have a pretty good idea of how to uh, monitor the amount of calories they're taking in. Today we're going to be learning something called basal metabolic rate. So we're going to go ahead and Google. Google is our friend. And we're going to calculate BMR basal metabolic rate and we're going to learn the basal basic metabolic rate and we're also going to learn what the basal metabolic rate is. We're going to go to the BMR calculator and I will link this below. The basal metabolic rate is going to tell us how many calories you need for basic metabolic function. And it also gives us a rough idea of how many calories I prescribe a patient daily in order to lose approximately one to two pounds a week. I don't like to dip caloric intake much below the BMR. And that's because if you go too extreme, uh, people will not stay on the program. They'll give up they will start to feel like they're being deprived too much. So we really want weight loss to be something that is effective and something that people are going to stick to. I do know people who are broke aristocrats who are reducing caloric intake by 25%. I think that the Weight, Lo the weight Watchers program has you at about 25%. That's absolutely fine if it's working for you. Uh, I think 20% uh, can be very effective. It's a slower pace of weight loss but I tend to find I have more uh, compliance when people reduce it by 20%. When we can just eat what we need in order to maintain our health and not take that second plate of food, when we fill our plate with just enough food that we actually need, a number of things start to happen. We start to have better digestion. We have less swelling and inflammation in the colon and the bowels. We have less aches and pains when we wake up in the morning. We sleep better. We feel better. Our energy is better. If you dip too far below that 20%, you may start to feel fatigue or low energy because you're simply not taking in enough calories in order to have healthy, uh, a normal uh, activity. So it's uh, certainly up to you. Uh, but as I mentioned, I, uh, I usually uh, don't dip too much uh, lower than 20%, depending upon the patient, the patient's goals. I want patients to feel comfortable on a calorie restricted diet. And I want it to be a lifelong choice that uh, uh, there's calorie control. Because we do understand that controlling our caloric intake is going to help uh, increase, uh, it's going to help promote longevity and improve health overall. So if you're at the BMR uh, calculator, which I have linked below, 
Uh, you're going to be entering your height. We're going to go ahead and put in Dr. Whimsy's height so that people can see how this works. And I am a tall girl. I am 5'9". And I am losing weight fairly rapidly on this program. I've been on the program myself for 11 days and in 11 days I have lost three pounds and so that's about right what I would expect. I'm now 147 pounds. Let me just put this in here. And I, my gender is female and they're going to calculate my BMR. Uh, forgot to put my age in. That must be Freudian, right? Dr. Whimsy doesn't want to tell you her age. Okay, I'm 50, I'm 54 years old. Now the reason we ask for your age is because metab your metabolism can change as you age and we have my BMR at 1,364 calories. That is what is needed for my body to simply be able to maintain its metabolic function. That's breathing, sleeping, uh, heart rate, etc. Now anything above that uh, would be going towards things like exercise, movement, and physical activity. So when we calculate BMR and if a person can maintain a caloric intake approximately around the BMR, we usually see one to two pounds of weight loss uh, weekly. If you're talking about uh, the program of uh, other programs that want you to lose two pounds or more, they're usually cutting caloric intake by about 25% and they may be dropping slightly below the BMR. For a weight loss of two pounds a week, I believe that uh, MyFitnessPal.com had me at 1200 kcal, so that's obviously below my BMR. Uh, you do add calories if you are active though, so when you go on your MyFitnessPal.com uh, page you will see they will calculate for you approximately how many calories you can take in daily if you are sedentary but they also have an exercise portion of the app so every time you engage in uh, physical activity they will increase how many calories you're allowed to take in uh, throughout the day I find that very convenient particularly if you're planning on going out to dinner or planning on going to a party uh, you would want to jog or do some good uh, vigorous exercise before the event and that way you'll have uh, say an excess of two, three, four hundred kcal uh, that you can uh, enjoy that dinner without regrets. The great thing that I have found about being on a calorie restricted diet myself is that I just seem to overall feel better and I feel better emotionally as well and that's because we do know that by dropping caloric intake we can sometimes see an increase in neurotransmitters like serotonin and that can have a dramatic uh, positive impact on mood. Okay, so I want to thank you for watching this part two of our ongoing series on healthy weight loss on a budget. My name is Dr. Whimsy Anderson. I practice here in uh, West Hollywood. If you have any questions or if any, you have any concerns about healthy weight loss, please reach out to me. Of course, we encourage you to speak to your doctor before starting any weight loss program. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.